White Portland cement is made to conform to the specifications of ASTM C150, usually Type 1 or Type 3. P white Portland cement is used primarily for architectural purposes in structural walls, precast and glass fiber reinforced concrete facing panels, terrazzo surfaces, stucco, cement paint, tile grout, and decorative concrete. Blended cements use a combination of Portland cement or clinker and gypsum blended or interground with poslins, slag, or fly ash. Shown is blended cement at the center, surrounded by, by from right and clockwise, clinker, gypsum, Portland cement, fly ash, slag, silica, f silica fume, and silconide or calcinide clay. Blended hydraulic cements must conform to the requirements of ASTM C595 or AASHTOM240. The requirements of AASHTOM240 are nearly identical to those in ASTM C595. ASTM C595 recognizes three primary classes of blended cements, type IS, ty type IP, and type IT. The letters X and Y in the designations represent the nominal mass percentage of the super supp supplementary material, with the remainder being Portland cement. For IT, with which are ternary blends, A represents the supplementary material that has the highest percentage, while B is the lower percentage. Type IS or Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement is manufactured by either intergrinding Portland Cement Clinker and granulated uh, blast furnace slag. Blending Portland Cement and Slag Cement are a combination of intergrinding and blending. Portland Blast Furnace Slag Cement is classified into two categories depending on its slag com cement content. Type IS and Type IS. Type IS less than or equal to 70 is not used alone for structural concrete applications. Type IP cements are Portland Poslin cements and are used for general construction. The Poslin content of these cements is up to 40 percent of by mass. Type IS cements, type IP cements are manufactured by intergrinding, blending, or a combination of both. Ternary blending, blended cements can sometimes offer advantages over binary blended cements in the form of optimization of overall performance for a specific application. Type IT cements meet the same chemical and physical requirements as for the type IS or IP, depending on which supplementary material is present in the greatest quantity. If there are equal parts, poslin and slag, then type IP is both types of type IS cement include subcategories for optional special properties such as air entrainment, moderate sulfate resistance, high sulfate resistance, or moderate heat of hydration. They may be specified by adding the suffixes A, MS, HS, or MH, respectively. Type IP may be de designated as air entraining, moderate sulfate resistant, high sulfate resistant, low heat of hydration, or other moderate heat of hydration by adding the suffixes A, MS, HS, LH, or MH. Cements meeting the requirements of ASTM C1157 meet physical performance test requirements as opposed to prescriptive restrictions on ingredients or chemistry as found in C150 and C595. Type GU is a general purpose cement. Type HE is high early strength cement. Types, types MS and HS are moderate and high sulfate resistant cements and types MH and LH are moderate and low heat of hydration cements. In summary, Portland cements are covered by ASTM C150, blended hydraulic cements covered by ASTM C595, and performance-based hydraulic cements covered by ASTM C1157. This table shows a matrix 
of these cements and their typical applications in concrete construction. Special cements are produced for particular applications. This table summarizes the various cements that we will discuss in the next set of slides. Masonry cements and mortar cements are hydraulic cements des de designed for use in mortar for masonry construction. Masonry cements meet the requirements of ASTM C91, and mortar cements meet the requirements of ASTM C1329. Both are used to make mortar according to ASTM C270. Masonry cements are also used in Portland cement based plaster or stucco. Plastic cement is a hydraulic cement that meets the requirements of ASTM C1328. It is used to produce Portland cement based plaster or stucco. Finely ground cements, also referred to as ultra fine cements, are hydraulic cements that are ground very fine for use in grouting into fine soil or thin rock fissures. These very fine cements consist of Portland cement, slag cement, and other mineral additives. Expensive cement, expansive cement is a hydraulic cement that expands slightly during the early hardening period after initial set. It, meets, it must meet the requirements of ASTM C8485, where it is designated as type E1. Currently, three varieties of expansive cement are recognized, K, M, and S. The graph shows the length change history of shrinkage compensating concrete containing type E1S cement and type 1 Portland cement concrete. Oil well cements are used for oil well grouting. Oil well cements are us usually made from Portland cement clinker or from blended hydraulic cement. The American Petroleum Institute's specification 10A includes requirements for eight classes A through H. Each class is applicable for use at a certain range of well depth temperatures pressures, and sulfate environments. There are also three grades, ordinary, moderate sulfate resistance, and high sulfate resistance. Rapid hardening, high early strength, hydraulic cements is used in construction applications, such as fast track paving, where fast strength development is required. They are classified according to ASTM C1600 as type URH, ultra rapid hardening, type VRH, very rapid hardening, type MRA, medium rapid hardening, and type GRH, general rapid hardening. Functional additions can be interground with cement clinker to beneficially change the properties of hydraulic cement. ASTM C226 addresses air and training at additions while ASTM C688 addresses water reducing additions and set controlling additions, including accelerators and retarders. Water repellent cements, sometimes called waterproof cements, are usually made by adding a small amount of stearate to cement clinker during final grinding. Water repellent cements are used in tile grouts, paint, stucco finish coats, and specially precast units. Regulated set cement is a calcium fluoroaluminate hydraulic cement that can be formulated and controlled to produce concrete with setting times ranging from a few minutes to one hour and with corresponding rapid early strength development. Geopolymer cements are inorganic hydraulic cements. Specifically, they are alkali activated aluminosilicate cements that are sometimes called zeolitic or polysilate cements. They often contain industrial byproducts such as fly ash and are used in general construction, high early strength applications, and waste stabilization. Calcium aluminate cements, cement is not a Portland based cement, but can be combined with Portland cement to make rapid setting concretes and mortars. Typically, applications of calcium aluminate cement 
include floors that need to be chemically resistant, heat resistant, or corrosion resistant, and repair applications. Calcium aluminate cement is often used in non-structural applications and rarely in structural applications. Natural cements are cements that predate Portland cements. They are coarse-grained hydraulic cements with slow strength gain pro properties. It was used extensively in canal bridge and building construction during the 1800s. Natural cement is available today for use in restoring historic structures. Natural cements must meet the requirements of ASTM C. When specifying cements for a project, the availability of cement types should be verified and the specifications should allow for flexibility in cement selection. CSA A3001 is the Canadian standard for cement cementaceous material. If the cement is blended cement, a lowercase b is app appended to the designation. EN197-1 is the European cement standard. Only type CEMI is Portland cement. The remainder are blended cements. Cement chemists use these shorthand notations for common cement chemistry oxides. All capital letters A for alumina, C for calcium oxide, F for ferric oxide, H for water, M for magnesia, S for silica, and S bar for sulfate. The four primary phases in clinker are tricalcium silicate, C3S, which is three calcium oxides and one silica. Remember that these are shorthand notations. Dicalcium silicate, C2S, tricalcium aluminate, C3A, and tetracalcium aluminophyrite, C4AF. The forms of calcium sulfate that are added to clinker to make Portland cement are anhydrous calcium sulfate, CS bar, gypsum, or calcium sulfate dihydrate, CS bar H2, and calcium sulfate hemihydrate, CS bar H1 half. C3S and C2S in clinker are also referred to as A light and B light. A light is shown on the left and B light shown on the right. The calcium silicate C2S on the left and C3S on the right react chemically with water to form calcium hydroxide and calcium silicate hydrate. The strength and other properties of hydrated cement are due primarily to calcium silicate hydrate. This image shows the hydration of normal Portland cement. Broken fragments of angular calcium hydroxide crystallites are also present. The aggregation of fibers and adhesion of the hydration particles are responsible for the strength development of Portland cement paste. 